Hey guys, Bucket Dude here, and I'm here today with my next ecstasy tutorial. And today we're going to be covering apply movement scripts. So, this makes people move. So, start it off. Uh, just lock the player? No. Yeah, lock. Actually, no, you don't do any of that stuff. So, basically, what we're going to do is first you got to open up advanced map and think of the movement you're going to do. You can't just. You have to think of the movement you're gonna do. So, this is how I do it. Go to your events, obviously. Press Control G to bring up the grid. So now, choose the guy. We're gonna use this guy. So when we talk to him, he will. I'm gonna make him look like he is facing left, so he'll be facing this way. So when we talk to him, he'll go up to the sign and read it. Okay. So say that. So, first, we have to figure out what event number this guy is. This guy happens to be person event number two. You don't have to change it. Okay. So, go to Extreme Script Editor. The move, the, it is apply, the command is apply movement. A people, per, people number to use. That's this number right here. Now, you don't have to put it in hex, because it is already in hex. Even if, because if it's number ten, it'll be... Well, no, you have to put in hex. But since it's number two, you don't have to put in hex. So, Xerox 2. Pointer to movement data. Put at move 1. This will be our pointer to where our movement data will be, which I will cover later. So, yeah, and then, actually, before this, we're going to say, we're going to say, hi. So, it's going to talk 1, Xerox 6. Now, so that's going to say, hi, look, hi, and he's going to go walk over and read the sign. But, but we don't want, so when we have it walk over, so message box, I have to talk to. This will be when he talks to, when he's reading the sign. But if we put this message box right after this one right here, this apply movement, it will show the message box while he's moving. So instead of waiting till he gets right here, it'll show the message box when he's right here. So to fix this, what we want to do is we want to do between the message box and the apply movement, we're going to do the command wait movement. Pe per people number to wait for, that's ZRX2, since we want to wait for the sky. So now, now we can talk. And now. That will be the end of our script. It's a simple apply movement script. Um, so let's go to our, our org at move one. So this is how we do movements. Remember when we were doing our give Pokemon scripts that while back ago? Well, I'm going to put the link in the description. But you, what, what you want to do is you want to go to that same exact website that I gave to you. Diego is awesome. That guy. And get the script. So I'm going to open up my scripting codes. Let's go all the way down. To where the movements are. See, so here are the movements. Now these are very strange. Okay, we're going to look for the, um, because we want to step, step to the right. Step to the right, going this way. We want them to step to the right three times. One, two, three. So, step to the right three times. We're going to step right normal. Normal is just walking normally. That would be 0x13. Now, how do we put this into it? What we do is we do pound raw 0x13. That would make a move left once. Right once. So, now we do pound raw 0x13 again. That would make a move right twice. And pound raw 0x13. Sorry. 0x13. Now, he will be... Where is he going? He will be right here. He will be facing right. So you want him to face up to give it the effect that he's reading the sign, right? So what we will do is go to our scripting codes and look, and look for the face up command. Face up is happens to be 0x1. So 0x1, let's go to here. So to make them look up, we do pound raw 0x1. Now, we're done, right? We're done with the movements, right? You, that's what you would think. 
But to end any movement, sorry. To end every any move you have to do, end it with pound raw zero x f e. That is called end of movements. Just have to do it on um, your movements list. I even think it's a movement. Uh, maybe not. I didn't know those were there. Maybe those would be helpful. Yeah, but whatever. So now we are gonna go to our scripting. Let's type the um text boxes out. Talk one guy guy. Hi, do you want? I'm gonna read. Hi, I'm gonna read the sign. So convert insert or at talk at talk to this will be when he reads the sign pallet town pallet town that's what the sign's gonna be read and usually when you read signs it's gonna yeah oh no nah, never mind so now we um can convert it open your rom convert copy advanced map give it to this guy go to scripting offset down there save it time to test it just opening up VBA run VBA file open tutorial and uh so let's turn it down and if you guys don't have speed up which i hope that you do just press spacebar also in fire red i think i should teach this if you want because right now the text is set, speed is set to slow just always change it to mi mid or medium that just works so much better so let's go down Okay, here's the guy looking left, so if we talk to him, guy, hi, I'm gonna read the sign. He walks over there, faces up, pallet town. See? Now, one thing that I really don't know how to fix, I'm not the most advanced hacker, but when you go back, he's like that again. <laughs> so, yeah, I really don't know how to fix that. I'm still learning that. I'm not the best scripter that proves it. But yeah, so next will be um a request by a uh, hack five next tutorial. This was a request by Pallet Town Rocks. I'm pretty sure is the name of the guy. So yeah, I hope this helped for you. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is Poke Dude. Thank you. And I still have a lot of time. I'm surprised. Thank you and. Goodbye.